Here we have one nice looking cross tab. This cross tab has two special qualities. The first quality is that here we have two pivoted columns. This is first pivoted column and this is the second one. They are using two different measures. Here we use return quantity and here we are using just quantity. The second uh, quality of this cross tab is that we have these headers here and they are above these first two columns. This is something that Cognos will not create automatically, but we have to create this by ourselves. And if we select this whole cross tab, we will see that this cross tab doesn't have default measure. And this will always happen when we are using uh, two different measures. So in that case, we don't have a default measure. We will now see all of the steps that are needed to create a cross tab like this one. First, I will go to toolbox and I will add one cross tab here below. I will tie it to query one. And then we will add some data. I will add first column here. And for now, I will skip this second column. I will not add it now. I will add it at the end of the video because I want to show you what will happen then. Uh, next, I will create areas for our two pivoted columns. And for that, we will go to toolbox. And in advanced section, uh, we have this icon cross tab space with fact cells. I will add this icon here to header. And then again, I will add it as a new column. And now we have two separate areas for our two pivoted columns. Uh, we can now add our first pivoted column. So I will add quarter in here, but I cannot do it. It won't allow me. And before this, we actually have to change one setting. We will go here to three dots, to options, to edit. And then we will change this setting, drop replace on cross tab in chart nodes. And I will change this to replace node. I will click on OK. And now I will succeed to move my quarter column to this area. Similar to that, I will add order method code to this second area. We have now two pivoted columns. We will now add our measures. I will add a return quantity here above quarters. And I will add just quantity here at the top. Okay. Uh, okay, this will work. Now we have to add our totals. Now, if I select this area and if I hold control key and if I select this area, if I then click on this summarize button, I will not get ability to add totals. Instead of that, we have to select only one of these two areas, only this area, for example, we go here and now we can click on the full summary and we would get total at the bottom. Then we will select this area and but now I will hold my control key to select this other area. And again, I will go to the full summary to get these totals at the side. And the next thing that we have to fix is this header here. And for that, we'll go here to toolbox and we have now this icon cross tab space. This icon is used when we want to add some empty cells. So I will add this in here, like a new column. And now we have to remove all of the cells that we don't need. I don't need this area, I don't need this cell, and I don't need this cell. When we remove these cells, the rest of cross tab will move to the left side. It will move just like some Tetris element and it will perfectly fit. For removing our cells, we will go here to box type and we will choose this option none. Now we just have to place our column name here. For that, we will go here to source type and we will change this to date item label and we will choose column here. This, this uh, looks great. Uh, we now just have to add this second uh, column leap here. I will go to my query. I will add column leap here like this here. And this will make a problem. This is what I want to show you. Because we have used that trick for the creation of this header, we will now have everything mixed. We have this sticking out, we have this uh, column here empty, and so on. So how to fix this? Well, again, we will go to toolbox, and we will choose cross tab space. We will add that cross tab space here because now we have two columns. So we need uh, header for ear and for leap ear. 
So we have added that cross tab space and now we can see what cells we have to delete. So I will uh, select this cell, this area and this area. This is something that I want to delete. And again, I will uh, choose none for box type. And now our cross tab is perfect. We just have to add column name here. So again, we will choose date item label and this time we will choose column leap year. Now I want to show you one more thing. Uh, here we don't see those cells that we have removed with box type none. But if we jump here to page design, we won't see them again. But there is a trick here. I will go back now to page preview. We can go here to three dots, to visual ads, and we can choose this option show hidden object. When I click this, in preview we won't see those uh, hidden cells. But if we go down to page design, we will see them. Here they are. So they are visible. And this is how we can reveal where our hidden cells are. And finally, we got a cross tab that is the same as this one above.